Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm going to share some happy mode that I got uh, the last few days. I am in my craft room slash Jesse's bedroom. This side's my craft area. This side's Jesse's bedroom. <laughs> uh, he's in the living room playing. You can probably hear his tablet. It's up really loud. But uh, that's okay. I don't even care. <laughs> I came in here because I wanted to film and share um, some of the cards and happy mail that I've gotten. One, so that the people who sent them to me know that I got them. And two, because uh, it's always fun to share yarny stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get in here. I'm also going to show my newest knit crate. I just got it today. And I might film a couple videos in this shirt. So um, just be warned, you might see me <laughs> in the same shirt. It is the same day. Just I'm putting it out on different days. Just trying to get some videos caught up. But anyways, I'm going to start showing the happy mode now. <laughs> got a whole stack of cards here. And I feel like there's some more. Oh, I know there is. Let me dig it out real fast. I stuffed them down in this package that I got. There's also some bills in there. We don't we don't want the bills. Just throw those over there. <laughs> but I got this whole stack of cards. And I don't think I've showed any of these. I might have showed a couple. But that's okay. I'll show them again. <laughs> and uh, it might take me a minute. Because uh, some of them don't have envelopes. This person wanted to stay anonymous. They sent a package to me, which I'll show here in a little bit, but this is the card that was in that package. Super cute penguins. I love penguins. It's a really cute um, card from that secret package. <laughs> Alright, this one. See, I got them all messed up. I don't know if this is the right. Okay, this is the right envelope. This one is from Darla. Really pretty season's greetings. This one. This is from my friend Phyllis. I know that. Just by looking at it. <laughs> super cute it's so cute little snow people and that one in the middle has got a bird on his head this is for my friend phyllis we talk all the time <laughs> it's wicked. she got a ton of snow we didn't get any snow yeah that's okay okay this one make sure the card matches the envelope yes this one's from judy i haven't been saying where they're from darla is from connecticut right no i was looking at the wrong thing Utah. <laughs> Phyllis is from New Hampshire. Um, the secret person is from Oregon, I think. And Judy, this is from Judy from New Mexico. Takes me a minute to remember state uh, abbreviations. It's a really pretty photo. It's actual like photo of uh, Christmas lights. I already showed this. This is from Judy. <laughs> she, uh, let's see, it says photographed by Philip. I'm not gonna, is that her? That's not the same last name, is it? Yeah, it is. So I don't know if she wants her like personal information out there, but I'm assuming that's from her husband or her son, maybe. I don't know. All right, this card is from, who's this from? Oh, this is from Devin's work. <laughs> people at his work gave him this card, the, the office people. Okay, this is for my sister. <laughs> I'll show it. Uh, that's her family. That's my sister and her son and her husband. Uh, she used to have a YouTube channel, but she doesn't post it anymore because she's boring. So she needs to make videos again, Hattie. If you're watching this, make videos, get crafty again. Quit being lazy and start crafting again. Okay. But anyways, that's ours. Really fancy. We skipped cards this year because uh, financial reasons. <laughs> and uh, But next year, hopefully, Lord willing, uh, we're going to go crazy. I'm missing cards to everybody. Who's this right? Okay, let me check that. Yes. Wait, wait. Nope. Nope. This isn't right. This envelope doesn't go to this. This is for my mom. <laughs> This envelope. Oh, I kept this because of the address. I already showed it. This is Pamela's um, envelope from her card. I sent, I showed that in the last card video. But I kept that so I could have her mailing address. <laughs> and I, it got mixed in. Okay, these are the ones that I got today. I got two of the same cards today, but from two different people. I thought that was cool. Okay, this first one is from... Uh, okay. Jen? Is that the right? Yeah. Okay, let's check in the last names. And she is from Louisiana. This is a really cool card. It's like a train. Santa's on it. And it's got all kinds of uh, animals. It says St. Nick Express. And it's, uh, I guess these are like Louisiana type animals. I don't know. <laughs> there's like an alligator or crocodile. And there's a mud bug right there. Crawdaddy, whatever you're, wherever you're from. There's more alligators or crocodiles, whatever they're called. There's a frog. I hear some kind of bird. And on the back of it, there's a recipe for red beans and rice with sausage. And another crawdaddy or mud bug, wherever you're from. We call them crawdaddies here, but I know down there they call them mud bugs, I think. But they're, they're 
their, I don't know what their real names are. <laughs> um, they're like little tiny lobsters. What are, what are those actually called? I don't know. We just call them crawl daddies. I used to love looking for those in like the rivers here. Moving rocks and looking for them. I already said who that's from. Yeah. Okay, this is the card that I got two of, but by two different people. I thought that was cool. And it's a really pretty card. Let me make sure I got the right one. Okay, this is, this is Tanya. That's Tanya. Okay, so this is from Tanya. <laughs> she lives in Texas. So I got this one from her. It's glittery. And it's the Peanuts uh, gang. <laughs> and then this one is from... Oh gosh, I can't read the writing because it's in cursive. I'm really bad at reading cursives. But the husband's name is James and a Mor Morina, maybe? I'm sorry if I said that wrong. And they're from, oh, they're from Tennessee. Cool. I know where they're from too. I'm not going to say where they're from, but but they sent the same one. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Twins. <laughs> but they're both super pretty. And I think I actually got one of these last year too. I'd have to dig through my cards. But they, they wrote a note on there really pretty. Really nice penmanship. I just can't read signatures that good. I can't even read my own cursive writing, so. But yay! I thought that was so cool. I opened one and then I opened another one. I was like, ah, twins. All right, this one is from, where's the card? It's got a bunch of stickers in it. <laughs> this is another name I don't want to mess up. How I pronounce it. I meant to look up how to pronounce it because that's normally what I do. I don't even want to try to say it. Let me go look it up real fast. Okay, I looked it up, and I'm, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up, but please forgive me. <laughs> Yahaya, Yahaya, Yahaya. I can't do it. I tried so hard. I'm sorry, but I love your card. It's a beautiful card. Here's the card. Woo. There's, there's a window over there, so it's kind of hard to. It's a stocking full of goodies, and it's really pretty, like color scheme. It's like pink and green and gold. I saw that pink and green Christmas is like really popular now. And it's got a note in it. What? What's my last It's in one of your toy boxes over there. One of the little blue ones by the TV. <laughs> He's looking for his back scratcher. Um, I looked up how to say your name and I'm so sorry. I, I'm not good at pronouncing stuff. But I tried. And I can't do that throat noise. Because um, I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hi. Yeah. Oh, I can't do it. I love the card. <laughs> they sent stickers too. A lot of stickers. Mm -hmm. Okay, two pages of Lisa Frank stickers. I love Lisa Frank. Oh my gosh. I grew up loving Lisa Frank. And these ones have my name written on them, so I'm assuming, you know, they're for me. And then there's other ones that are like for Jesse. These ones are really pretty. They almost look uh, watercolor y. Um, bugs and fish and mushrooms. And little like sparkly things and leaves in the moon these are so pretty oh my gosh see the problem when people send me stickers is they're so pretty that i don't know what to put them on because <laughs> i don't want to put them on something that's going to be thrown away so i actually have a box right here the pink one is full of stickers that i've bought and that people send me and i just look at them sometimes and these are the ones i'm assuming are for jesse because uh well they might be for me I'm trying to see if it's written on there because she had, maybe she was sending them to other people. But these are like, um, these remind me of like the kind of stickers you get at, uh, what's it called? Vacation Bible School. Because they're like space, but they got, um, uh, guard quotes on them. <laughs> they're really holographic-y. And then these ones are like, um, these are white stickers. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. But they're like butterflies and leaves and fish, stars and stuff like that, but they're white. But that's actually really cool. Okay, that's from there. And then the last, oh gosh, there's two more. Here's this one from. Okay, this is from another package. This is the last card that I got today. This is from Marsha. <laughs> and it did not have confetti in it unless it's in the thing. I opened it very carefully in the post office just in case because I had to stand in line and wait uh, for a while. <laughs> Actually, I had to stand in line three times and I'll tell you about that in a second. But this is her card. She hand makes her cards. This is so pretty. And it's got a stamp in it that says, May magic and wonder bloom this holiday. And inside of there, she put a tea. It's stashed peppermint. Okay. So this card came in a package right here. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. But the post office story. I was standing in line looking at my cards. And an old lady, 
<laughs> older lady walked into where you like put envelopes in the wall and it goes through, you know, so you don't have to stand in line. And um, she was doing that and she dropped her cane and she was bending over like really slow, you know, like she couldn't hardly bend over and she couldn't reach around. So I ran out there, <laughs> ran through the doors and picked up her cane and handed it to her and, and you know, she said, thank you. And I said, you're welcome. So I ran back in there to get back in line because I was already in line. So I, I lost my place in line. <laughs> and then I was in there doing it again and I looked over and then she had dropped a band-aid out of her pocket and an unopened one, you know, just like a extra band-aid. And she was trying to pick it up, so I ran back out there again and picked up the band-aid for her. And she she apologized and thanked me again. And uh, you know, I told her she was welcome. And she was she said that she has shallow pockets and stuff falls out of it all the time. But anyways, so I went back in there and got in line again. Uh, so I had to get in line at the post office three times. But uh, I lost my place for a good reason. You know, I was helping someone. But it was just funny that I had to like I kept going through the through the doors like it was a revolving door, but it wasn't. It was just it was just funny. Okay, this card came in a package I got today from Kara. And um, I think she made this herself, like printed it out. It says Merry Christmas and it's got a little wiener dog on it. Devin loves wiener dogs. On the way home from the post office, we got behind a truck that had a bloodhound in the back of it. And it was so cute. Me, Devin, and Jesse were all three like, you know, oohing and on over it. And it was just on the back of the truck doing its thing. But anyways, this is a package from her. And on the front, where's her address? I don't want to show her address. There's a sticker of the dog. There's also a sticker of a bow, but it's right beside her um, address. I don't want to show that. But she sent, woo. She had these wrapped up, but of course I ripped into them. They are wrapped up in um, tissue paper. So she sent this for Jessie. And it's a little, like, um, activity book. Got, like, coloring pages in it. Oh, uh, Avengers. <laughs> and she also sent him a hot chocolate. This side's hot chocolate. This side is marshmallows. And they're like unicorns, so that'd be fun. We're actually planning on doing hot chocolate tonight because we're gonna watch the Polar Express, so that's perfect. And then she sent me this. I was so excited. I had just literally put this on my Amazon wish list like the other day. Every time I'm on Amazon, I see anything I want, I just stick it on my wish list so that I can either go back and buy it later or also Devin knows what I want. And she bought me this. It's called Sweet Crochet Friends 16 Amigurumi Creations from. I don't know how to say that name something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I don't want to mess it up. But the reason I added it to my wish list is because I saw this little cow <laughs> and the sheep, but mostly this cow. So, and then I got it and I, I like, I just put it on my wish list. I couldn't believe it. But this is like a beautifully done book. I'll kind of flip through it a little bit. Really nice pictures and instruction pictures and I can't wait to rip into this. I don't even know what's all in here. I need to do a flip through some of my books. I've had people ask me what books I have. I've done that recently for Amigurumi, but I've got new ones. But uh, someone asked me, like, in general, pattern books what I have. Okay, this is the, yeah, this is 16. So this is all the critters that's in there. There's an otter. Let's see here. There's a bunny girl, a cat, a puppy, a tiger, a raccoon. Um, an uh, actual bunny, <laughs> a panda, a koala, uh, just a little girl, a otter, a lamb, a different bunny. Cause that's like a cute chibi bunny and that's like a bigger bunny. The cow, oh, what says goat? Whatever, goat, cow, same thing. <laughs> a horse, a hippo, and another little girl, but a different looking little girl. It says it's a goat, but it looks like a cow to me. It could be either, whatever. <laughs> this is such a beautiful book though. I can't, I couldn't believe it when I opened it. Because um, I just literally put this on my wish list. So it was just baked. Okay. So that was from Kara. She lives in Texas. And also, okay, this comes from. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> okay, this is two packages in one. The first one's from the secret person that wished to remain uh, anonymous. It was in a box. This Happy Meal's gonna be all over the place. <laughs> my husband's sister is here. And that's what Jesse was telling me. She graduated high school. Um, today. I don't know if it was today. This week. She did a lot of extra stuff to graduate early. And she graduated. And that's so crazy. Because when I, when I first met Devin and we first started dating, she was nine. So, I, I didn't think to get her a graduation gift. I gotta do that. Oopsie. Okay. <laughs> Back to how you know. I'm sorry. But if you watched me for any period of time, you know that I'm scatterbrained and I'm all over the place. Okay, this is from Mysterious Shipper. I know who it is, but they wanted to stay anonymous okay where am i okay first she made jesse <laughs> a 
cute little snowman. This is so ironic too because I'm pretty sure it's the exact same pattern I just made for someone. And you'll see that in my No Catchy Name. Well, actually, I'll dig it out. It's right here. But when I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh, is that the same pattern that I just made? And I picked purple too. That's so funny. See, I made mine. She made hers with like big thick yarn. But I think it's the same pattern. She just didn't do the, the things on the hat and uh, I crocheted eyes because the, the pattern uses buttons, I think, and I didn't have any black buttons that I could find that were little enough. And then I tried to embroider the nose on there and I messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. Anyways, that's her gift. But this is hers and it's kind of purple. It's not purple, is it? It's blue. <laughs> I'm, I'm blind. But anyway, she made this for Jesse. And he loves it. I had to kind of take it away from him to show it. So I'll, I'll give it back to him later. She also made some stars. I made some stars recently. And I sold them on my Etsy shop. And she she um, bought a whole bunch of ambergrammies from me. So I just threw some extra stars in there. Just, you know, extra thank you. And she locked them, she said. So she made some. But she also said that she's not good at working with little tiny things. So that's why she made the snowman. <laughs> it's like blanket yarn, I think. That's what it feels like. And the white is sparkly. You can't see it, but it's sparkly. So she, she, oh gosh, why is that so hard to say? She made some stars, is what I'm trying to say, for me. She made these three for me. It's a red sparkly one, a gold sparkly one, and a white sparkly one. And then she made this one for Jessie. It's a blue with silver sparkles. These, these two have gold sparkles, and this one's got like a red sparkle. So I got stars. I'm planning on making Christmas ornaments out of these whenever I get around to doing that. And then Jessie's, he can do whatever he wants with that. And she used a, um... Uh, a seven millimeter hook to make those so she sent me a seven millimeter hook which was completely unnecessary but i appreciate it and then um yarn i had mentioned it was back when i was making the christmas tree by string it evening that i didn't have the right color green to make a christmas tree with that i wanted so i ended up using um red heart hunter green whatever color that is right there <laughs> So she sent me some greens and she said that she hopes that uh, now I have the right green. So she sent me a ball of Red Heart tea leaf, which I love. I actually love this color. I had a ball of this once before, but I used it all. And she sent me a ball of Red Heart white sage, which is also a really pretty green. And then she sent me three Mary Maxim balls. Or no, this is not Mary Maxim. This is uh, Red Heart with Love metallic and it's olive. It's green with like sparkle. These two are Mary Maxim. Mary Maxim Starlet sparkle emerald this is so pretty emerald's my birthstone <laughs> and this one is the same thing but it is ruby ruby and emerald Ooh, it's a perfect timing too because i just started making a bunch of those horses and i'm probably gonna make some horses out of these sparkling ones and then i have other greens to choose from to make christmas trees <laughs> so it's perfect all right so that was from mystery person who does not want to be known. <laughs> and then this next person is from, this next gift is from, I didn't ask her if she wanted, I'm not gonna say her name because she might not want people to know. But she emailed me and told me that she was sending me a gift and that she hopes I liked it. She has the same thing and she loves it. And uh, she also told me I was probably gonna get mad at her <laughs> because apparently, you know, cause she, she spent a lot of money. I know this, I don't know how much this costed, but I'm sure it costed a lot of money. But they're beautiful. And I freaked out when I opened them. <laughs> but they're hooks. And she bought me, there's six of them. And they have wooden handles. They're Susan Bate hooks. So here's one. This is a K hook. It's got a green wooden um, handle, which is perfect because I hold my hook like this. I'm, I'll crochet like that. I don't know how people hold their hooks like that. <laughs> people who hold their hooks the pencil way cannot, I don't think they can use these ergonomic hooks because it would be heavy, I imagine. But I am a knife grip, is what they call it. So I, I crochet like that. So these are perfect for me. <laughs> Sorry, K. And this is the J. And these are wood handles. They're really lightweight. Like, they look heavy, but they're not. And this is the I. And the H. I love that color. It's so pretty. I use H a lot. This is a G. Nope, this is not the G. This is the G. <laughs> the pink one. And this is elf. So there's six of them all together. Slide that around. There you go. That's an order. So it's K J I H G F. <laughs> really beautiful hooks. And they're really lightweight. I know they look like they're heavy, but they're not. And I use these are like the hooks I use. I mostly use F for M groomies. 
I use G and H for like regular projects like hats and um, house decorations and some amigurumis. And then I use these three lately. I've been using these a lot for like blankets and hats, bulky hats. And then I use eye hook for like my, my um, six day kids blanket was made with an eye hook. And I've been using these two sizes, J and K, to make uh, all the bulky stuff I've been making lately. Because I've been really into bulky yarns. So these will get used, most definitely. And they're absolutely gorgeous. I need some kind of hook holder where you put it in like that, maybe, to where the wood's showing. But I don't know if that would damage the top of the hook. I don't know. I'll figure out something. Because they're so beautiful. But this is, I'm going to keep this mystery too, because she might not want uh, people to know that she's, she did that. I'm trying to be careful with them. Anyways, that's all the mail that I got <laughs> this past week. I think I'm going to put this on with another mail haul that I got. Again, I already recorded it, but I think I'm going to put them together just so they can all come out on one day. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I'm going to share some mail with you. I got a bunch of it. <laughs> I got some Christmas cards and a couple packages to share with you guys, and I wanted to share it with you. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the cards. Let's see. That is junk mail. Okay, I think I got them all in the right envelopes. This is from Kim from Kentucky. This is a homemade card. It says Season's Greetings. It's got a big ball of mistletoe and it's got some little bling bling on it. <laughs> and it's like, um, it's 3D. <laughs> and it's got stamping on it. And she has a YouTube channel also. It's not crochet though. She, she does talk about yarn every now and then. But, um, it's Metal Scrap and Chick on YouTube. <laughs> Let me make sure this is the right one. Okay. This one is from Rosie in New Mexico. <laughs> Always forget the uh, initials for the states. Really pretty glittery card. I know this one matches because the card matches the uh, envelope. This one is from Natalie from Florida. Are we in Florida? This is Natalie from Natalie's Closet. She's, this is really cute. This is cute because it looks retro. And it's got this straps on it. And on the envelope, it's got the same straps. <laughs> and the envelope also opens this way. Oh, well, that was cool. Really pretty retro uh, looking card. This is another one that matches. This is from Karen in Iowa. So here's the envelope. Let me cover her. The envelope is decorated. And then the card. Is it upside down? No. <laughs> it says Christmas wish. I think it's got it on the inside too. No, I was thinking it did. <laughs> I can't remember. It's really pretty. And then these are the ones I got today. So these all should be with their envelopes. This one is from Trish in Washington. It's got some teas in it too. So here's the card. Really pretty. Is this Thomas? Yeah, Thomas Kincaid. You can usually tell his pictures by just looking at them because of his style. That is really pretty. And this ribbon in here is like textured. Really nice card. And she sent in it sweet and spicy herbal tea from Good Earth. This one. And then this one is from Stash. Cinnamon, apple, and chamomile. That's probably good. So now that I show those, I'm going to put them aside so I can drink them. Okay. Whoops. This one is from... Let me make sure it's the right one because I just mixed them up. The card's not signed. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. Okay, that goes to that one. Okay. So this one is from um, Debbie in Georgia. Georgia. This is so cute. I think this is a homemade card. Yeah, it looks homemade. The paper is like, it looks like trees with shiny stuff like really cute Rudolph. And it's got a stamp on the inside. The words are stamped. This one is from, it just says J. Um, I don't know how to say that. The last, the last name is what they signed the card by. It's Z-Y-C-H. Is that Zach? I don't know if that's like how you say that. But anyways, this is from that person. <laughs> really pretty uh, card of a tree, tree. Yeah. It's got like a family in the background. And right there's a dad and a kid. Or a mom and a kid. Back here's another little group. But it says um, from the Zach in Minnesota. 
Zitch. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Okay. This is, what is this? That's a bill. <laughs> this is from Cindy in Minnesota. Amen. This is Cindy Molter, the YouTube. The YouTube channel is called Cindy Molter. Really pretty. Uh, I think it glare. Is this Peace on Earth? Really pretty card. Okay, so that's all the cards that I brought that were just cards by themselves. Some of those I got last week. I just didn't have time to um, show them. And then I got a package from Summer. Whoops. I'm dropping it. She lives in Kentucky. And her package had stickers on it. <laughs> so she sent me this shawl that she made. Um, I won't mention her letter because it might be private. But she made the shawl for me. Or she didn't make it for me, but she made it and then thought of me. She made this, I think she said last year. Very pretty. And she did send the yarn band, band where is it? Somewhere. Right here. For the yarn. It is Red Heart Unforgettable. Uh, color is candied. And then she sent a bunch of cards. <laughs> it's funny, she sent a Halloween card, a Thanksgiving card, and a Christmas card. So we'll start with Halloween. So here's the Halloween card she sent. Got puppy dogs on it. And then here's Thanksgiving card for the corky. <laughs> and then the Christmas card. Really cute Christmas card. And then inside the Christmas card was a letter, which is private. And then uh, these little ornaments. Try to get them. Okay, here's this little angel. <laughs> And then there's another little angel right here. And then there's this really cute little star. I don't know if you can see it, but there's little tiny beads on there. Little seed beads on it. And then there's a little snowflake with really pretty little beads on it. And then a little tree with beads on it. Super delicate, dainty ones. They're made with like thread. <laughs> Very pretty. And then there was also, there was coloring books and gummies for Jessie, but they're already in there. <laughs> and then she sent a bunch of teas. She sent me a little envelope with teas. <laughs> so, oh, it smells good too. All of them together. Okay, this one's called Sweet Dreams by Bigelow. Woo. And then this one is Cozy Chamomile by Bigelow. I think that's how you said that, Bigelow. And this one is, I have one of these I haven't drunk yet. And it's big little olive lemon. I'm probably gonna like it, but I just haven't drunk it yet. So now I have two. <laughs> this one is perfectly mint. That's Jesse making noises in the background. This one is toasted coconut. I might like Devin drink this one because I'm not the biggest fan of coconut flavor. And I have one of these too, but I did drink it. <laughs> Orange and spices, I think. I can't remember. But I'll drink it anyways. And this one is vanilla chai. And then she said two that are like loose bags, I think. Didn't have packaging. And it's white chocolate peppermint. She made their own little bags. <laughs> and apple cinnamon. And she said underneath it that this is one of her favorites. So that's cool. I got a lot of teas in Avatar. And I've had, whoop, I had a few people tell me they're gonna send me some teas. So I'm looking forward to that because uh, I've been trying a lot of them. I tried the one that Carrie Penny sent me in her Christmas card. It was called Winter something winter spice or something like that but it was really good i liked it a lot okay let me put those other teas with that and then the last package that i got uh, last two packages that i got today are t the last two of the fabric that i got from jill so i'll run through that real quick i opened it in the car and just looked in it but i didn't like dig it out <laughs> so here it is floral print Fan like thing. This feels like, um, if I can get it out, this feels like flannel. Floral. Oops. More floral. It's <laughs> a good liner print. Little tiny flowers. This is this inside out. 
really pale, that gray specks. Marbly looking print. More florally print. <laughs> Red, ready, pink color. More floral. <laughs> this, is another, this is another piece of that same one. This one is inside out. It's a floral print. This is cool looking. This is like a like a bandana print. That'd be a cool bag. And the second box has some plaid. Really pretty stars. Oh, move it closer. Some white cream color. Eh. Some like beige. This I think is the print that she wants a bag out of. I don't know. I have to ask her. She told, she, she told me she wants a bag out of one of these prints, but I don't know which print she meant. It's like a scene. This print. I think it blocks in your mouth. Blue. Another blue. Another blue. Another blue. And another blue. <laughs> a lot of blue. Alright, so that's my happy mail from this past weekend. Or can actually, I have to box you? You can, go ahead. From the past uh, about week, because it's been a while since I went to post office. But yeah, so that's everything. Thank you guys for sending out cards and stuff, and especially the teas. I'm looking forward to trying a bunch of different ones. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.